let's see if that is the right video. I think this is the right screen. If not, it might be this one. All right. Um, e we'll go with this one for right now. And if you guys complain, you can't see anything, then we'll switch it. All right. So let's go ahead. And like I said, I think what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and get a refresher. Why not? So we're going to go ahead and do the learning to fly series. Um, I honestly expect to get through most of these today. Like just straight up. I think we're going to get through all of them today, but we'll find out. And if you don't know, after we're done with this, I am planning on doing a around the world using the Cessna 172 with the G1000. So that'll be interesting. We'll just definitely see what happens. Now, I'm not wearing a hat. Let me fix that. There we go. That works. Right. Right. All right. Good shit. All right. 64,000 feet. We're almost a mile in the air and we're going to learn how to fly here. All right, let's do it. Welcome to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Well, there's no Don't autopilot. Worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Okay, looks like they got the throttle all the way in. God, this is just like this game is gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure what I think about the stretching there. But I guess it's slowly loading in. It just got downloaded. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Yep. I see that. There. The colors. Hold on. That's paused. Now. Let me change something here and see if I can't. So if I go into. Yeah, that isn't where. I did it. Okay, so that's not it. There it is. This is what I was looking for. So if I turn this down. 50 and apply does that make it look less crappy it does it does look less crappy okay so we'll try that and see what happens yeah that's a lot better out your side windows 
You can see we have great That's visibility over Sedona today. That's what I messed up. Cause I was wondering, I was like, why does everything look like just total car? Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is very beautiful. A little bit of pixelation off the uh, reflection on the wing there. We've got everything set to uh, ultra settings. Oh, that's cool. I can move over here and move over here. That's cool. I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll learn. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. All right. Uh, there we go. That's cool. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. All right. The first control on our training list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Sure, you can turn, but you can also pitch. For starters, it controls the ailerons. And the ailerons. They allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. The aileron control? Go ahead and try rolling to the right. All right. Gonna roll. Nice. Now and let's see you level back up. out. And level up. There we go. Good. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Sure. Pull back on the stick. The plane starts to climb. Give it a shot. The most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude. But notice, when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. You could add more power. Or for now, let's just pitch down. All right, pitching down. Just like that, your speed's picking up again as the nose pitches down. As you level back out, let's talk about another control, the rudders at your feet. <laughs> Rudder pedals that is not control the aircraft side to side movement, also known as yaw. On the ground, those pedals are gonna steer the plane left or right. Up here, they properly align us during turns. Try them out, and watch the plane's nose skew to either side. Simple enough, right? Alright. Before we go on, let's bring the plane back to straight up flight. Make sure All your right. dashboard straight is aligned look. three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. Okay, the last thing we're gonna cover now is the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control <laughs> over speed. the power output of the engine. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Cut. I'm gonna turn up the surprise, game monitor surprise. just a little bit for you guys. Our altitude is decreasing. 
Yeah, let's not do that. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Always keep an eye on your surroundings, because nobody likes a low-flying duck. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. All right. There you go. Speed is increasing, and as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing too. You're really getting the hang of your controls. Before long, you won't even need a co-pilot. Until okay, then, yeah. if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. You can pass right. me the controls when you're ready to finish your session. Or keep flying. It is a great day That's after all. Do a barrel roll. I did a barrel roll. Alright. Let's go ahead. Control Alt X. Alright, I have control. Good job. Cool. See that crap? Look at that. Alright. Let's see. Attitudes and instruments. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I know this. It's just getting to know their shortcut. Shortcuts. Yep. Go to the next activity. I was looking for vape juice. It's literally on my desk. That's freaking funny. All right. So we've got instrumentation. Like I said, I know pretty much all Today this. Today we're talking but about attitudes of flight. How your plane is oriented never hurts. relative to the horizon. If you look outside, you can see the cockpit is just about four inches below the horizon line. We're flying straight with a decent rate of speed. This is the cruise attitude. Let's see how it reads on your instruments. All right. So, cruise attitude reads straight and level on the this thingy. <laughs> oh. There we go. Maybe that'll get some more people in here. All right, focus on the so control one. Take a oh, look at cool. the attitude indicator. As the name implies, it shows your current attitude. The white line is the horizon, with the sky above and the ground below. All right. Keep the blue that side orange up. orange element in the middle, aligned with the horizon, that's your plane. That Just look like, like my we plane. saw outside. Our current attitude reads pretty much straight and level. Okay, now let's see how much power the engine's generating. Check your tachometer. Control three. Looks like we're pushing around 2300 revolutions roughly. per minute. Yep, roughly. Combined, attitude and engine RPMs translate to aircraft performance. All right. Which leads us to your airspeed indicator. Alright, so I'm now, guessing that's on the other least, side. Check your altimeter. Okay, airspeed's gonna be to right there, out altimeter's your altitude, gonna be right there. You always want to read the small needle 6, first. That's how many thousands of feet up you are. Then on to the big needle for the hundreds. Flight level six. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and yep. a stable altitude of 6,000 feet. Yep. 
but that's about to change. Take the stick okay. when you're ready. All right, let's go back to the normal view. Pull ready. back slightly on the yoke to raise the nose just above the horizon All line. All right. About two inches. Make sure you don't pitch up too much, or the angle will be too steep to create lift. We'll and stall. without enough lift, we'll stall. All right, go full throttle and start climbing. Welcome to the climb attitude. See how it shows up on your attitude indicator and tachometer? Yep. According to your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. But we're losing God, airspeed even at full throttle, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. Okay, before we go on, let's get back to a cruise attitude. All right. Ease up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. Nice job. We're now right. set up with the same attitude and power we had at the top of our lesson. And it's actually trimmed out pretty good Next too. Next up is the descent attitude. All right. Start by reducing your RPMs to 1800. Okay, how's that? Then that drop sounds... the plane's nose a uh, bit further below little, the horizon. There we go. There we go. That's not as bad as it was. It was pretty bad. Let me put a little echo. And there we go. What's that? Uh, further below the horizon and reduce to 18. Oh, that's a little bit too far. And you reduce to 18. As expected, with a nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing. Well, our speed is there picking up. And I'm not straight and level. There Why we go. don't you get us back to a cruise attitude and we'll hit the last part of our lesson. Alright, 23. And there we go. Level. Now that we know how to cruise, climb, and descend, that ain't let's too bad. talk about that the ain't turn too hard attitude. At all. Gently pull the yoke left or right to start rolling the plane. If you take a look outside, you can see how our attitudes changed, but you can also check yeah, your sad thing is, I detail. cannot see. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. I gotta be able to see that turn indicator. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. Use them to control your roll. Notice the more you turn, the more you need to pull back on the yoke to maintain altitude. When you're rolling out, you'll need to do the opposite. Roll the turn and indicator push is actually pretty good. Time. The more you know about the main attitudes of flight, the closer you get to that pilot state of mind. So keep practicing, and whenever you're done, pass me the controls. Control Alt X. Like I said, okay. I really think we're going to get these uh, well done. done today. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to next. And take off and let her flight. Cool. Let's do it. Now, yes, I am planning on getting four fight, four flight. Um, we're just gonna have to see what happens with that. I got my iPad. Wow, that was shitty audio. But I do have my iPod, iPad, and uh, plan on four flight at some point. Let me not do that. There we go. Okay. 55 knots uh, V1 and then 75 knots out it says. I believe that's what it says. Aha. Hey. There we go. Yeah, I don't know yet if this music is going to get me a strike or not. Well, not strike, but claim. But we'll find out, won't we? Because both There's Facebook an and YouTube I like. are pretty bad. A mile of road will take you a mile. Let me go ahead and do that right now. In fact, um, audio, sound, and music, and we're just gonna turn that off. There we go. All right, so apply and save, exit, resume. A mile of runway 
will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Yeah, I don't see anybody that way. I don't see anybody that way. And I don't think we have ATC uh, here, so I won't be able to announce that we're going onto the runway. So, all right, let's go ahead and S. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Okay, so S, that's cool. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. All right, so park and brake off. Yep, that's what it was. I was like, why isn't the park brake coming on? lined up. Kind of drifted there a little bit. And break. All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Well, roll on the power. Don't just slam it. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Power rolled on. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. And I do have everything set to hardest, so there's no assist. Good. Now gently pull back on A55, the yoke. 55, airspeed's alive, the top of your awesome instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. Gear That'll up. That'll up and set a good climb attitude. Alright, good, good climb attitude is going to be about. And we're airborne. 15 degrees-ish. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Uh, 210. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Okay, so we're a little off track. There we go. And we're climbing to 5,500. Here comes 5,300. And make sure my flats are all the way up. There we go. Laps up. Positive break. Ah, 5,500 feet. A nice, safe altitude Wasn't for part two super of our lesson. Pretty, but that'll work. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting our attitude. We're in a cruise attitude, pushing max power. To stay level at our target altitude, let's start by easing the throttle back to 1800 RPMs. Okay. There we go. That's where I want to be at. And throttle coming back. Probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. The way I was taught, when you adjust the trim, you make rough changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke, then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. That's the key to straight and level flight. It saves you from constantly pushing or pulling on the yoke. And that gives you more time to enjoy the ride. If you want more practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass the controls, I'll be here. Yeah, trimming with buttons is a kind of a pain in the ass, but I already knew that was kind of a thing. 
There we go. Control Alt X. Okay, I have control. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Got him, coach. All right. Next lesson landing. And then I think the nearest biggest city to us is St. Louis. So we're going to do the Cessna 172. And I think we're going to do St. Louis to Chicago today. Um, I'll look up and see how much that is. I got until 5 p.m. every day. So we're going to be streaming from 5 to or noon to 5 central. So I want to do a around the world flight using the uh, Cessna 172. Hey, Tyler, what's going on? Um, so, yeah, I want to use uh, the Cessna 172 and um, do an around the world flight using the Garmin 1000. So. Like I said, this is just me getting my bearings, getting back. It's been a while since I did a flight sims, so we're getting everything figured out. We've got ultra settings. We've got the RTX. I was about to say GTX. RTX 2070 Super. And uh, yeah, we're just getting our bearings here. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a that's... terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. <laughs> that's uh, Today, good advice. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Been doing pretty We've good, Tyler. Been doing pretty approach, good. So we don't have to complete the standard traffic Sarah, what's going on? And um, I've already set us up in yeah, landing configuration. Lots of stuff uh, has been going on. With 10 but we've been doing pretty good. Power. All right, idle We're power. We're on the glide slope now. We have 10 degrees of flaps. Yes, Maintain we do. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. Okay, it when says that I'm on the glide slope, number, but I've got four happies. I got four white. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. Love the vids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and extend our flaps more. Right? Yep. Okay. We're still too high. Um, those Pappy lights, those four lights off to the left side of the runway, they're called the Pappy lights. I forget what Pappy stands for, but four white mean we're way too high. Once we uh, start coming down, you'll start seeing uh, red lights there. But we're looking for two white, two red. Can we see this when you get home? Hell yeah, Shelby. Oh, Shelby. And now we're way Keep too your low. your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Now we're too low. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. We were way too high. Now then, we're way too low. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above oh, that's it. That's okay. We'll be all right. I'm just going to kind of fly level until I can get, the, uh, get back on the glide slope. Glide slope. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're past the threshold. Start the flare. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start climbing. Nice. Now apply the brakes. Way to off to the left. I'm going to redo this lesson. Stop. Way off to the left. All right. Let's go ahead and put the brakes on. Yeah, I think we're going to redo this one. So let's focus on the Pappy. Great job. And As they say, any landing yeah. you can walk away from is a good landing. <laughs> but if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, that's what we're here for, right? Yeah, I think we might do this one again. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. 
But yeah, Sarah, I've been doing good. Uh, been doing really good. Lots of changes. Um, the main thing was I got burned out, right? So with ATS and everything else, I got so burned out. So I was just kind of waiting for this game to release. Um, now that this game is released, we're playing again. Um, we're getting... Eh, I know how to land. I just got to practice more, which we'll practice going around. Uh, do I have YouTube? I do. Go to FDUSN.com. Um, you see that up in the corner? FDUSN.com. Go there. Click on... Go to the menu and then click stream sites. So there's a little menu up in the corner. You click that, click stream sites, and it's got my Twitch, my YouTube, my Facebook, and yeah, those three. Used to be Mixer too, but uh, Mixer kind of took a shit. So, see, I'm I'm thinking this is all VFR, right? So, like, it's good basics, but I don't know. See, that was the good thing about FSX is it actually had like a full course like this. Yeah, this is just VFR. Um, we're going to be going worldwide IFR. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Um, the nearest large airport to me is going to be St. Louis. So I think there we go. So if we go Lambert, so that's our departure. We're going to start on, I think, uh, I think there's a GA area. Uh, ramp GA small. Yep. Okay. And let's see how, actually, first we got to switch this to the Cessna 172 with the G1000. Where's that at? There's the 152, 152 Aerobat, and there it is, Skyhawk with the G1000. Um, weight and balance, we're going to want full fuel all the way up. There we go. Um, max allowable fuel, we are right at it. Okay. Um, how much do I weigh? I weigh more than that. So we'll just say 210. That's, that's about right. Um... We're still under the max takeoff weight, so we're good. Um, Co-pilot, we're not going to have one. It's just going to be me and my lonesome. All right. And I think that's good. Um, yeah, that'll be good. All right. ATC options. Tail number. We are going to be November. Foxtrot Delta Uniform Sierra November. Um, November... The 1st of November indicates that we are a U.S.-based aircraft. And then after that, it's Foxtrot Delta USN, obviously. Um, call sign, we are going to do... Um, um, I did Headhunter head hunter earlier um that was a little interesting i need to call sign guys something that they're gonna call me in the chat what do you guys think so i said it hunt head, head hunter earlier um we could do squid uh navy obviously um anchor um kind of like anchor and the bad thing is, I don't know what the delay is, so I actually have to wait for you guys to answer. All right, I'm going to go with Anchor, and then if you guys give any good ideas in the chat, then we'll change it. We'll call it Anchor 1, and that's got that. So let's go ahead and go back to the world map, and let's see if we fly... Let's see here. So the, the actual, whoa. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think the circle is our range, like our maximum range. So flying around the world, Squidward two. Um, <laughs> I was actually, uh, yeah, I, I was, that was, uh, was, uh, my call sign for a while was Squidward. 
Just a big ass nose. Um, yeah, we're gonna do Squidward. We're gonna do Squidward. I like it. We're gonna do it. Totally, totally happening right now. But I mean, I'm gonna do. Yeah, we'll do two. Fuck it. I like Tyler's idea. All right, Squidward two. All right, and yes, they will actually call that out over ATC. So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be cool. All right. So the plan is gonna be to go around the world, right? So in order to go around the world in a Cessna, we're pretty much gonna wind up flying to the East Coast, up the East Coast, through Canada, um, probably somewhere up here in Greenland. Um, and then from Greenland to Iceland, Iceland, um, and then from Iceland to Europe. And then we'll fly down. I want to hit Greece on the way. Um, that's not Greece. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Greece is over here. And um, there's the island of Creta. So I want to hit there because I'll station there. And I want to see what it looks like. And then we'll go across the world that way and come back. It'll probably take us quite a while. A couple months uh, worth of live streaming. So... How much time do we have today? We have four hours remaining, so let's see how far we can get in four hours. So if I set that as arrival, uh, two hours and nine minutes. Um, if I set this as arrival, four hours, 51 minutes, so that's too far. What about Pittsburgh? Three hours, 52 minutes. That's going to be just about perfect. My stream is lagging on Facebook. Um, let me see what my settings are set at. Output is 6,000. Um, that's probably why Facebook doesn't like anything above 4,000. Um, Tyler, go watch this on YouTube. Uh, Shelby likes Anchor. Uh, Shelby, I'm sorry, I just just literally just saw that. Um, yeah, we might do Anchor Two tomorrow. Anchor or Anchor One, Anchor Two tomorrow. Um, Tyler, go watch. Uh, go to the stream sites. Watch this on Twitch. It should stop lagging. Um, other than that, see if you can change the quality because uh, the lag is going to be dictated by your download speeds. So if it's lagging, try setting it to a uh, lower resolution than 1080p. If that makes sense. Or you can watch it on YouTube, or you can watch it on Twitch. That might fix it too, but I'm thinking it's going to be your download speeds. All right, so we're going to be going from Lambert to Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh, we're actually going to park. So let's find a GA parking. Wow, they got a lot of gates. A lot of gates. Okay, there we go. GA small. Um, Sure. I'm not running, landing on the runway. Well, I am landing on the runway, but I just need a GA. There we go. All right. So we've got full fuel. We've got our destination set. We've got our plane set. And let's do this, bitch. Now, as I get more confident, I, event I eventually want to get on the VATSIM network, but I'm just not as confident with my radio callouts yet, so. There, now I got it. Had to back out of Facebook. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Like I said, I think it's most likely your download. Um, I don't know. And Facebook gaming's still kind of new, right? It's only about a year old, so it's kind of old, but... I don't know. So a lot of uh, stuff for him to work out. Yeah, I did turn off the uh, music volume just because I don't want to get striked, but... 
It's kind of quiet. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Playing 5M. There we go. All right. Uh, need help updating graphics card and my gaming computer. Um, what graphics card do you got right now? All right. So let's do this crap. Um, documentation. Absolutely not. Parking brake is set. Ignition is off. Avionics bus one off. Master alt uh, on. There we go. Uh, go ahead and turn that off. Uh, battery on. Got it. Um, yeah. Okay. PFD is on. What flavor am I vape on? This is a custom flavor that I made a little while ago. It's kind of like a peach uh, lemonade. Uh, Tyler, go ahead and YouTube how to find my graphics card. Um, it will pull up a video on how to find which one you have. Um, actually, honestly, what's your budget, right? So if you tell me your budget, then I can recommend a card for you. I think that makes more sense. It helps to know what you have now, so we can make sure we're upgrading, but just by knowing what your budget is will kind of help me guide you towards updating the thing. The thing with the thing and the thing. Um, all right, PFD is on. Uh, fuel quantity indicators. Uh, it's right there, we're full. Uh, low fuel, low fuel. Yep, that's all off. Uh, oil pressure announcer. Yep, that's on. Uh, low vacuum. $1,000. Um, wait. If you got $1,000, wait. Reason being, right now, 2080... So, usually about $1,000, I'd be... Monkey farts, strawberry banana grandparent. That's awesome. Um, so, $1,000, I would usually recommend 2070 Super. Or, I'm sorry, 2080 Super. Uh, but right now, they're just stupid overpriced. Um, so, wait because 3000 series is coming out and whenever 3000 series comes out i'm pretty sure so right now the 2080 ti's are at like two thousand dollars and and like 15 to 2000 once uh 30 series drops those 2080 ti's should come down to under a thousand so just wait a couple months wait it out and uh that's what i would do get a 2080 super or 2080 ti once the price drops. All right. Where was I? Low vacuum announcer. That is on. Avionics switch bus. One on. Discord channel. Absolutely. Go to the website. FDUSN.com. Click on Fox stream. And then there's a icon there for the discord. Absolutely. I have a discord. Um, switch one on that. Um, fan. Yep, I hear it. Uh, one off. Bus two on. Fan is heard. Fan is heard. Yep. All right. So now we turn it back off. Uh, pedo heat on and check working. So let's go ahead and move that. Pedo heat on. Heat heat off. Low volts announcer. Yep, right there. Master switch. Turn those back off. Elevator trim. Make sure it's set to take off. It is. Dual selector is on both. Static pressure. Alt source off. And that is off. Sweet. Let's go to before starting engine. We've got pre-flight inspection complete. Seat belts. Sure. Uh, brakes. Yep. Uh, circuit breakers. Nothing's popped out. Electrical equipment is all off. 
a Vionic Switch Bus 1 and 2, I'm guessing is what that is trying to say. Yep, off. Fuel selector both. Fuel shut off is open. All right, starting engine. Throttle. We're going to open that quarter of an inch. I think it's a little bit far. That'll be all right. Um, mixture cut off. Idle cut off. Standby battery switch. We're going to test for 20 seconds. You joined the Discord? That's awesome. Yeah, on the Discord, it announces when I go live every day, so you'll be able to uh, see when we're live. We also do giveaways on the Discord. Um, we got I got something that I might be doing, but I'm going to keep it under my hat until I know for sure. All right, that's 20 seconds, so that is good. All right, we're going to go ahead and arm that, make sure the PFD, that is this primary function display, comes on. Um, do I add up people on Discord? So... I'm always in the main chats talking to you guys. I don't do too much direct messaging. Um, reason being, with the relationship I'm in, I'm trying to keep stream stuff to while she's at work. So that way, as soon as she gets off work, it's just me and her time. I'm Toss not doing test. other things okay. too. If that makes sense. Uh, battery switch is armed. We're good. Uh, engine indicating. Yep. E volts, 24 minimum. There we go, 24.4. Uh, bus volts, 1.5 or less. I think that's that right there. I, I don't remember. Yep, I was right. All right. Um, S amps. Discharge, negative five. Yep. Standby battery announcer. Standby battery. Yep. Prepare layer. Prop. Clear cock. Yep. Ew. I don't know why I did it that way. Let me uh, take this filter just a little bit. There we go. Anyways, clear prop. All right. Prop is clear except for that Yahoo sitting there. Um, master switch. Alt and battery. On. Beacon on mixture rich fuel pump on for three seconds, then off. Uh, that's right there. One, two, three, four, five. Um, two zero TI. That would be the one that I'm recommending once prices come down. So two zero Tango. India. Oh, or I'm sorry, 2080 2080 Ti. It's the currently the best one out there without going Titan, but you're going to have to wait until 30 series cars come out cuz right now they're like $1500 for a Ti. But once 30 series comes out, then those 2080 Ti's are going to go down in price. So, just wait. Auxiliary fuel pump done. Mixture lean. All right, so we're going to come back to about 20%. All right, feet ready to brake. Well, I don't have I don't have uh rotor pedals with brakes, but that'll work. All right. And ignition. So what we're going to do here is we are going to hold the ignition, wait for our RPMs to come up. As they come up, we're going to pull the mixture all the way in. And here we go. All right, engine is running, mixture full. Yep. And we're good. After starting engine, throttle at just a thousand RPM. So where's my RPM? There it is. Uh, so we're gonna pull that throttle back just a hair. I'm looking right here. There we go. A little higher. I mean, it's close enough, but Still, if we want to do it right, we got to do it right. Right? Right. Oil pressure. Check. Amps. Batteries. Verified. Charge is shown. Good. Low volts announcer is off. Avionic switch on. On. And flaps up. 
collapse up. Good. All right. So now we are not ready to taxi yet. We need to get the ATIS. St. Louis Airport information, Charlie 1700 Zulu. Line 226 at 5. Visibility, tree. Sky condition, view clouds at 1,000 feet, view clouds at 4,000 feet, view clouds at 11,000 Now this is live condition, so this is actually what it's like in St. Louis right now. Alright, so let's get over there and let them know that we have information, Charlie. Alright, so we are going to tune to clearance. Uh, we're going to Clearance request. delivery, Squidward 2 ready to copy IFR clearance to Pittsburgh. Squidward 2 is cleared to Pittsburgh Airport is filed. Take off runway tree zero left climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departure frequency is 119 or decimal 15 squawk 1553. Squidward 2 cleared to Pittsburgh Airport as filed. Take off runway tree zero left climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Cool. Departure I live about 70 miles. Actually, one I think five it's more like 40, 40 or 50. Squidward 2 readback is correct. Contact ground on 121 decimal 075 when ready to taxi. All right, so let's go ahead. One two one point zero seven five. Ground Squidward two with Charlie ready to taxi IFR. Squidward two taxi to and hold short of runway tree zero left via taxiway Romeo Echo Charlie Kilo Charlie. Contact Romeo Echo on Charlie Kilo Charlie. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this. So there's a way to pull up. What I might do is just pull it up on my phone. So we're at Kilo S Tierra Tango Lima, I think. Squidward 2, did you hear my oh. last transmission? Yeah, I need a love now. Taxi to and hold short runway tree zero left via taxiway Romeo Echo Charlie Kilo Charlie Squidward 2. Squidward 2 taxi to and hold Alright, so we're GA. Ah, I need to turn off rotation. And then Shelby, no, they have not called me about it yet. So, that's another good point. We might be stopping it today. Alright, so. General Aviation. Okay, so we are taxiing via Romeo. I don't see Romeo. Romeo Echo Charlie. I don't see Echo. There's Echo. There's Romeo. Romeo Exo. Runway three zero left. Charlie. All right. So let's see if we can uh, look around here and see where we're at. Um, I 
Okay, so I have no idea. I'm not seeing any markers over here. Um, I'm looking for like a runway or a taxiway marking. Not seeing anything over there. I'm guessing we're going to go that way and then see where we're at. So let's go ahead and get pushed back. Two requesting pushback. If I play 5M, I used to. I got really burned out on 5M, so. Alright, let's keep an eye out, out around. I think we're going to go that way. So, I'm going to try to get him to push us to the uh, left here. Requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Squidward 2, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Uh, what are you doing? There we go. Now he's doing something. Now, is he going to steer my tail to the rear? Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's turning me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, only play as LSPDFR. Um, yeah. I mean, real world, I was a military cop for five, seven years. Uh, got medically retired. Did the whole 5M thing for a while. Uh, got burned out on it. So. All right, let's go ahead and straighten Ground, this out. Squidward 2 requesting pushback tug to push the aircraft straight. Squidward 2, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Alright, I think we're still good. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're still good on time. Okay. Alright, this should be back far enough, so let's go ahead and stop Ground that. Squidward this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Pushback. It's the brand new one Squidward that just launched. Alright, so we're going to taxi out that way. We are looking for... Romeo Echo Charlie Kilo Charlie. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to get that going here. We're gonna go ahead and get up to a taxi RPM. And parking brake is off. There we go. Go ahead and get over here to the taxi line. Um it starts at 60, right? So uh for the base package you get 60. And then after that, it goes up to 80 and 120. Um, I paid 120, but I don't recommend everybody else does. I just wanted to make sure I had everything. I need to slow down. I'm going entirely too fast. Yep, way too fast. I'm hoping it's this way. What? is these markers saying. That is a hold short and 64 echo. Are we on echo? Yes, Romeo echo. Oh, that's not my brakes. So let me take a look here. See where we're at. And of course we're past it because why wouldn't we be? Okay, that's not a runway, so... I'm gonna look and see what the uh, control is for maps. Keyboard. Not under menu. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I try to do the games come out, but they come out too fast. Yeah. And if you do all of them when they come out, then, you know, you're going to go broke. Display map V. Okay. Why would... Like, that's not even a common sense thing. So I'm actually holding short of a runway right now. That is not where I need to be at. I really wish they would label the thing. But anyways, so now I know where I'm at. So if I look here... Okay, so that's Sierra. I wasn't supposed to be on Sierra at all. Um, Romeo. Okay, so I need to turn around and go. Okay, so that's where I was at. I need to come back out this way and Romeo's over here. Romeo, Echo. Okay, well, let's find out where we're going. Do I stream every day? I'm going to start streaming every day again. I used to, um, and then I kind of got burned out, so I had to take a break, but I should be doing it again. Okay, that's not a runway, so... is a runway. All right. So, we're going to turn off progress or turn on progressive taxi. All right. So, let's do that. Um, general? Nope. Controls. Keyboard. Alright, let's just have the uh, co-pilot taxi out. Control-Alt-R. Right? No. Oh, but gosh dang it. I just had it. Miscellaneous. Alt-Control-X. That's what it is. So in theory, he'll start taxiing to where we need to be at. Logical dodge. Err, what's going on? We are trying to figure out where we're supposed to be at. Cuz I tried pulling up a uh, map. And I thought that I thought I had the right map up. And apparently I didn't, so I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to be at. Looking for some tips? Um, practice. <laughs> okay, so this is 12 right. So we're holding short of 12 fight right. Um, go back to clearance. Um... It's so confusing. Um, if I had a nice big list of everything that I could do 
with things. Um, no, it ain't. Landing isn't impossible. It's just difficult. Um, if you need to turn the assist back down. Um, so if you go into assistant, like I have everything set to true to life. Like seriously, turn it to all assists. Like there's no shame in doing that. Faxi ribbon on. Yes, that is what I want. So. Because texting is a pain in the ass. Yep. All right. So we're going to resume and we're going to taxi that way. Okay. So, yeah, I. I'm going to turn the taxi ribbon on just because I don't know these air, these airports and I don't have maps pulled up like I should. Um, in real life, this is a really bad idea because uh, we're crossing runways without clearance, which is not something you're supposed to be doing. But, yeah, this is going to get us back over to where we're supposed to be at. So. They aren't yelling at us yet, so. I guess we're good. GTX 960? Um. I mean, that's not a bad card. Uh, my first card was a uh, 970 whenever I got back into it. Um, it's still a good card. Like, it's not... Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. There we go. Way too fast. Um, just trying to find one for under 200. That's your budget. Um, used market, you should be able to get a 1070. Um, new market, you'd be looking at a GTX 1650. Um, it doesn't handle this game very well. Turn everything down. Turn it all down. All the way down. Like, seriously, it's right. It's general. Graphics. Like, just take this to low end. See what that does for you. It is all down. Oof. Big oof on that one, brother. But yeah, um... I would be aiming for a 1660, um, at least a 16660, um, 1660. Um, that would be my lowest end card that I would do. Um, past that, um, like really good I would be a 1660 Ti, uh, but that one you're looking, I don't know, 600, 700. No, 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 300 to 400. Uh, that's U.S. dollars. As far as English pounds, eh, 1660, you should be able to get. And it's a damn good card. Alright, so we're supposed to turn here. And... 3-0 right. Logical Dodger worth the follow. Welcome to FTD Navy. Hoo-yah! Go Navy turn up one knot. All right, what was tax way hold short of three zero left contact tower on one one eight point Okay, parking brake's not on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, we're still getting used to this thing. Um, hard to find a GTX used. Uh, got outbid on eBay. Big oof. Um, I can't remember if I can crash into these cars or not. So, I'm just going to go around it. So, I think this is getting back over to where you can crash into them. Okay, it's a good thing I went around. Uh, this is 12 right, 3-0 left. Hold short, 3-0 left. Okay, so that's where I need to be, just not right there. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. I should really actually like write this down. Um, tomorrow, I'm actually gonna have a map of the airport printed out. 
so I actually have a paper map to go off of, so we won't have to use progressive text progressive taxi like this. Okay, let's go ahead and back off just a little bit on the throttle again. Alright, I think we're going to the right spot this time. Luckily, there are other people in the area, but luckily they're not trying to do anything here, so... I think I have live weather and everything turned on. Pretty sure I do. Twitch name, Foxtrot Delta USN. Um, go to the website. Like, seriously, the easiest way. Go to FDUSN.com. And then on the menu. Oh, hold short. Hold short. Hold short. This isn't short. Um. You can figure the damn website out. Here, I got you. I got you. Alright. So, on the website. FDUSN.com. So, seriously, the easiest way to do this. Click the little menu. And then... Ooh. Did I not save and publish? I might not have saved and published. That might be my problem. All right, so let's try this again. FDUSN.com. Yeah, stream sites. There you go. So yeah, the little three marker up here, and then stream sites. Oh, all right. Um, request takeoff clearance from IFR tower. Tower Squidward 2 at runway tree 0 left ready for takeoff IFR to Pittsburgh. Squidward 2 cleared for takeoff runway tree Let's see the eye set. Clear for takeoff, 3 0 left. Squidward. Cleared Ooh. for takeoff runway tree 0 left, Squidward 2. So, the big thing on the website is whenever you first go there, you have to click on the stream, right? because I also do daily build lists for people who are building computers. So you have to go to the stream. Once you're on the stream, everything's pretty much there. I need to organize that a little bit more. Um, but yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this going here. Um, vertical speed. I'm gonna set that to 500. And Heading on nav. There we go. Nav is armed on GPS. Ooh, guys, stay down the runway. Time in 2020 with the follow. Welcome to the FTD Navy. Hoo ya! Go Navy, turn up or not. All right. So pretty much positive rate. Um, I can't do gear up, but I can turn on the autopilot and let it just take over. So I uh, I think they said fall fly runway anyway. Oh well, fuck it. We're getting on our path. That's you, Tyler? Sweet. So yeah, I might not have uh, published it the way I was supposed to, but that's okay. So now we're cruising. Um, let's pull back our checklist. Again, yeah, subscriber, thank you so much for that, Tyler. It should have popped up. I don't know why it didn't pop up there. It should have. All right, taxi. We got it. There it is. Tyler with the subscription. Welcome to the FTD Navy. Hoo yeah, go Navy. Turn up, whatnot. 
All right, so strobe is on. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do any of this. Um, I should probably restart this flight and just fly closer. Because that wasn't good at all. Let's go ahead and escape. Oh, like actually escape, escape, home. There we go. There we go, main menu. That's what I'm trying to do. So let's do this actually the right way. No, don't restart it. Um, so we're not restarting, restarting. I'm just gonna fly somewhere closer. Um, because I only have three and a half hours and I also don't know when I'm gonna be able to go get my truck because it's in the shop right now. All right, so Dayton. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. So we're going to set that as departure. I'm not going to start right on the runway. I'm not going to do it. All right. JRAM small. Flight conditions. Live, live, live. All right. So that's all live. And we are going to go to... Do a big plane. Um, no. So the plan is, I literally want to do the Cessna C1 or the Cessna 172, and I want to fly it around the world. So today is the start of that. Um, so we're gonna fly it literally around the world. Um, Squidward two, uh, November Foxtrot Delta Uniform Sierra November. Weight and balance. Uh, let's fill up. And sure. All right. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. All right, so that is full. That's all good. ATC is good. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so if I go to Indianapolis, how far is that? That is an hour. Um, if I go to Dayton, two hours. Two hours seems about right. Or actually today, let's just do a uh Chicago at. No, Chicago's gonna be way too long. Um for today, since we might be in the truck, let's do a nice short flight. Yep, one hour. That that's good. Alright, so let's actually do this the way we're supposed to here. Um low altitude airways. Good. And here, um, arrivals, direct, approach, ILS 29. Cool. And departures. I think they said 30 left. Um, All right. So now we have our departure, we have our arrival, we have our approach. And everything should be good to go. There's our approach. I said our departure isn't really on here the way it's supposed to be. But that's okay. I guess that's the other way that we could go. All right, we'll see what happens. Try this again. Uh, go to Kansas City Airport. That'd be going the wrong way. So the plan is to every day, like make it a series, right? So we're flying around the world. Um, so today we fly from here to somewhere else. Tomorrow we're going to fly from that location further. 
and then from that location further. Um, and I'm pretty much going to fly literally around the world um, in a Cessna C or Cessna 172. That's the plan. Hopefully that makes sense. And then guys, don't forget, if you guys want to get a Hugs and Shit t-shirt, uh, we actually have them in the merch store. On the website, just click merch. Like I said, this is like the worst time because, yeah, loading screen. I might turn the music up again because Facebook and YouTube haven't sent me notifications about it yet. So the music on there might be okay. We're actually doing pretty good. Um, when I get paid, you're going to donate? I, hey, I appreciate when people do. Definitely not expected, but definitely appreciate it. It helps me stay full-time as a streamer. All right. So, visibility is 10 nautical, nautical miles. Uh, time is 126, 1326 p.m. Wind 27. Let's go ahead and get the uh, ATIS one more time. So, yeah, getting this stuff started up. We're going to do this real quick. Um, Pre-flight inspection, there shouldn't be anything I need to do. Um, let's go ahead and go before starting engine. Um, Pre-flight inspection, sure, 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 sure. Bunch of clip, yep, 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 yep. All right, throttle, set that. Okay, that's good. Uh, make sure I had a cough, yep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that up. All right, beacon on. Actually, let's go ahead and turn all our lights on. Make sure rich. Yep. Fuel pump on for three seconds. One, two, three. Make sure lean. And should be start. There it goes. All right, make sure full. All right, what do we got? Go through this quickly here. Throttle, 1,000 RPM. A little bit back. Well, pressure, good, 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 good. Yep. Flaps up, good. All right, taxi light on. Landing light on, strobe on, nav lights on. Parking brake release. That is this button. Uh, brakes test. Yep, brakes are good. Rudder test. Good. All right. I'm um, not worried about. All right, so let's go ahead and do the roundup procedure real quick. Park brake on. Good, good, good. Flight controls, free and correct. Good. No red X. No red X. Altimeter, we need to set the barometer. Um, I think that's ATIS. St. Louis Airport information, Charlie 1800 Zulu. Line 226 at 5. Visibility, tree. Sky condition. Few clouds at 1,000 feet, few clouds at 4,000 feet, few clouds at 11,800 feet. Temperature, 20, 2.10. Altimeter, 29 or decimal 9 or 2. Yep. ILS runway 11, ILS runway 12 left, and ILS runway 12 right in use. Landing and departing runway 11, runway 12 left, and runway 12 right. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. 
All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact, you have Charlie. St. Louis Airport information, Charlie 1800 Zulu. Wind 226 at 5. Visibility, tree. Sky condition, few clouds at 1000 feet, few clouds at 4000 feet, few clouds at 11,800 feet. Temperature, 20, 2.10. Altimeter 2 niner decimal niner 2. ILS runway 11 ILS runway 12 left and ILS runway 12 right in use. Landing and departing runway 11 runway 12 left and runway 12 right. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have Charlie. St. Louis airport information Charlie 1800 Zulu. Wind 226 at 5. Visibility. Sky condition. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go to clearance and get clearance our clearance. Delivery. Squidward 2 ready to copy IFR clearance to Kilo Mike Tango Oscar. Squidward 2 is clear to Kilo Mike Tango Oscar. Airport is filed. Take off runway 11 climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departure frequency is 128 decimal 1 squawk 7055. Squidward 2 clear I'm to Kilo Mike 5, Tango 000? Oscar Airport is filed. Take off runway 11 climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departure on 128 decimal 1 squawk 7055. Squidward 2 read back correct. Contact ground on 121 decimal 9 Squidward 2 with Charlie ready to taxi IFR. Squidward 2 taxi to and hold short of runway 11 using taxiway Romeo Echo Cross runway 24 Alpha. Contact tower on 118 decimal 5 zero. when ready. Short runway 11 via taxiway Romeo Echo Cross runway 24 Alpha Squidward 2. All right, so we need to go that way. All right, um, instead of getting this guy to do it for us, I'm just gonna turn this way and go because we just kind of need to go. We're just gonna go. Okay, so we can cross 2-4 without getting clearance. So we're we're clear to cross 2-4. That's good. To know. Definitely good to know. Can I go third person in this game? I can. I'm not sure which button it is. Um, and especially taxiing and flying, I, I like doing it from uh, first person. But there is definitely a third person option. I just don't know what the button is for it. If somebody tells me in the chat, I'll show you what it is. Um, it is. It's a lot of fun. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, getting used to it. But as I get used to it and as I learn new things, then, you know, it gets to be a little bit more fun. Wow, those uh, markers are in the middle of nowhere. So this is a uh, auto-generated one. Probably crash. Um, I've crashed a couple times today, just fucking around. We're doing pretty good. We're managing uh, 30 to 60 FPS, depending on where we're at. And for a flight sim, 30 sounds small, but for a flight sim, 30 is actually pretty good. Because as you see, we're not going stupid fast. Like this isn't a racing game. Alright, and we do have permission to cross 2-4, which I believe is what we're coming up on now. Yep, 
Only viewer on Twitch. Um, there's somebody else on Facebook right now, so it might be only you. But it is what it is. You know, you just kind of stream for yourself. Whenever you're first starting out, and it's been so long since I streamed every day that most of my regulars, uh, Sarah was in here earlier, um, but most of my viewers aren't really here, so it is what it is. Today's the first day back. Try to start streaming? Hey, there's nothing wrong with that at all. If you're gonna try to start streaming, yeah, you, know, you gotta get that uh, RTX card. So the uh, encoder that I'm using is actually the encoder on the 2060 Super. So I have a two PC streaming setup and my streaming PC has a 2060 Super in it. And that's what I'm using to encode the stream. It works pretty damn well. I only have like five five followers. Um, I've got like six, so <laughs> now that'll go up as I start streaming every day again. Oh, Shelby's here. Um, yeah, sorry, Shelby. It wasn't. Uh, it was just showing one on Twitch. It wasn't showing two. Restream messes up every once in a while. Well, Shelby, I knew you were at work, so I didn't know if you were still, like, watching or not, whether you guys got busy. I'm going to turn the game volume up just a little bit. There we go. Quietly listening, I got you. Um, now it's showing three. Um, Twitch bugs out every once in a while. Kind of like the game just bugged out for some reason. I went down like 18 FPS. What the fuck? Yeah, it's getting really buggy. I don't know why. Let's take this off, maybe? Nope. That didn't fix it. Why do I feel like the game is about to crash? Another slow day like yesterday? Oof. Okay, I'm going to see if I can't fix this. So let's go to general. Because my FPS are dropping down to like 18. So. Graphics. I'm going to go to high end. Apply and save. And see what that does. Yeah, something's slowing down. Okay, there we go. Now we're back to 30 FPS. You gonna follow Shelby? There you go. Alright, so I think we're coming out on our hold short position. Hold short runway 11, yep. And 118.5. Says following since April 24th, 2020. Nice. Yeah, I got you. That makes sense. All right, text two inch hold short. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Hey, I actually stopped where I was supposed to. All right, so we are gonna request takeoff. Tower Squidward two ready for IFR departure runway one one. Squidward two cleared for takeoff runway one one. Let's go ahead and close everything else. Close. 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 Let's see if that fixes my issue. Squidward 2, please acknowledge. Cleared for takeoff runway 11, Squidward 2. Did I play Flight Simulator 19? FS19? No, I play FS2020. Alright, 
Normal takeoff. Checklist. Okay, here. There we go. Alright, getting down the runway. Let me go ahead and just pull this out. Flaps. Good. Throttle. Full. Mixture. Rich. None displayed. Airspeed is alive. Nose wheel up. V1. Rotate. Pilot on and let him take over. We're gonna fly runway heading until he tells us to do something else. Oh, Farming Simulator 19. Um, no, I haven't gotten into it. I have a full wheel and pedal set. But, yeah, I just never got into it. Seventy, eighty knots. Check. So, Switch actually, two probably... Contact, Kansas City Center on 128 decimal one. 128 decimal one. 128 decimal one for Squidward 2. Center, Trying to get a wheel and everything. I've got a full driving feet. setup. Alright, so now we switch to Twyla. And Yaw Damper. I don't think it has a Yaw Damper. So, just a heads up, this is going to go back and forth a little bit. So, what it's doing is it's got to uh, intersect our GPS heading, our GPS line. And then once it intercepts that, it's going to follow that around. Good some I mean, I use the Logitech uh, G29. That's what I got. But yeah, you can see over here on the MFD, the multifunction display, that we're getting ready to intercept our GPS line. So yeah. So now we're pretty much in autopilot. Um, we're going to have to listen to them. Might have to do some uh, altitude changes um, as we get closer. But yeah, so from now on, we're just kind of checking it out. I do want to know why... Oh, I know why. we get afterburner up here. I know why. There it comes. Alright, so that's up. So why isn't it showing the on-screen display? I'll go on to screen display. show it anymore. I wonder if uh, Flight Simulator has a uh, FPS counter. Ooh, 
this has an FPS counter. Counter. got an FPS counter. 35, 41. All right. So now let's turn these back up and see what happens. Because I think it was like Chrome and everything else running in the background that fucked me. Apply and save. Sorry, guys. I'm still getting everything done. Um, Wheels and stuff. Oh, like what I have. I don't have that up on my website yet. I used to, but then Amazon had to redo everything. So tomorrow, my website will have all of my equipment on there. But it doesn't have it on there right now. Okay, yeah, so we're maintaining uh, roughly 30 at ultra settings, and it looks pretty damn good. I try to be. I try to be. I really do. All right, so Twilla as planned, Altimeter 2992, which we have. Um, so yeah, we are good. Um, v is the map. So we're coming out of St. Louis, um, getting ready to cross the Mississippi River here. Um, actually, where that's at, we might see the arch. Oof. Um, V, gotta fix this. So what happened there is I have my vertical speed set too high. We've got to get some speed back. That's me not paying attention. Hold it right there while it gets the trim trimmed out. Squidward 2, please expedite your climb to 5,000 feet. Stop. 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 Here, stop, stop, but uh, stop, stop, looks like we're more worried stop, about stop, not crashing. Stop. You know what it is? I need to lean out. Are those actual players that are in the game? Yes. So all of those are actual people actually flying.
sure exactly what it's doing, but it's trying. why it's being totally retarded. Hey Tyler. Figure out why it's auto trimming the way it is. Squidward 2, you are 400 feet below your assigned altitude. I'm Climb and maintain 5,000 feet altimeter to Niner Decimal Niner 2. So for some reason, like, the trim just keeps going fucking retarded. to stop and figure out what's going on. I'll let it do its thing. It's 
yeah, this is its thing, crashing. So I'm going to get on the forums and see what the fuck's going on. Guys, we will be back live tomorrow. Keep an eye on the Discord, you guys will see when I'm live, but this is like totally bugged out. So, woo, gotta love uh, brand new release games. Alright guys, until then, be good to each other, be good to yourselves, hugs and shit, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow.